Let me thank uh, the Indus Foundation, Dr. Zahar, Mr. Anamolu, for spending quite some time mobilizing various stakeholders and in planning for these events. Uh, let me be brief and uh, I would like to share uh, some of our experiences from the perspective of a state government. Of course, uh, Andhra Pradesh has contributed in a big way, uh, dating back to 2006. Uh, when um, there was hardly any discussion about skills, most of those ideas emerged from this city itself. So at that point in time, I think we were talking mostly about IT and IT related areas, but that was expanded. So in any case, we have grown quite a bit, as Mr. Vekad was pointing out. In the last few years, we have really covered quite a bit of distance. I think it's appropriate that uh, we should share our experiences because these are all evolving systems. And after the bifurcation of the state, so the new state of Andhra Pradesh, it started as a skill development mission at a new department of skill development, entrepreneurship and innovation Depart department. And the three executive agencies, one to look after skill development, working closely with the various sector skill councils, that's formed along the lines of NSDC. And as we are talking about, we have partnerships with most of the sector skill councils. They are asked to set up their base in the state. And that's how we cater for training people as defined by the industry through the sector skill councils. And this is a skill development corporation is primarily concentrating in training people as required by the upcoming industry. Uh, that's why it is also working with the companies that are coming, that are planning to establish. As witnessed in the latest partnership summit, we have a tremendous commitment to establish many companies. And, uh, and the commitment is to the tune of about 10 lakh people. And even if one fourth of that materializes, we are really talking about uh, a substantial requirement and we are not in a position to supply that many people. But by working with various training partners, by establishing training platform where we can carry out that kind of training together with the industrial training uh, industrial trainers, we are kind of meeting that requirement. As uh, Dr. Sanjay was pointing out, I think we are moving into very fast changing areas. And even whatever we were talking just two years back, they are becoming pretty redundant. And we have to take a look into many of the job roles and many of the training programs because these are going to be made quite redundant in just a few years from now. So in that context, we are working with the major companies and probably the largest global investment in terms of industry for readiness and preparing trainers for this industry for. So that is established with the help of the state government in Andhra Pradesh. So some 40 centers have been established. These concentrate primarily in the area of robotics, in manufacturing, in smart technologies, and these are already there. And uh, we are also moving ahead in investing more together with the industry so that we should be able to prepare the kind of workforce which we don't have now and which is uh, probably even the industry is not there and when we have to scale up. So we should be in a position to scale up these numbers very quickly. So this is, uh, for example, in many of these areas like robotics and automotive manufacturing or even these uh, drones. So there is a tremendous uh, need that is coming up and we don't have even proper job roles that are defined for that. So again, we are moving there. I have been establishing various centers of excellence in the direction. I think as you saw that uh, importance of promoting innovation and entrepreneurship, so that was recognized very much and uh, various experiments are going on. We are establishing incubation centers in uh, schools and in fact during the last few months some of the school children, 8th standard, 9th standard children and uh, Interestingly, some of the people who have dropped out of the schools 
because they thought that schooling is boring. And they came back because of our innovative setup in the schools. And they went and presented in these international conferences some of their novel ideas. So in robotics that happened even in Canada. So it's, uh, it endorses the point that uh, Mr. Janathan is making, that we have to move uh, closer and closer to the end workforce and the challenge, challenge the imagination. So we, again, we are looking over there. And uh, the general trend is again, government is taking up in the establishment of infrastructure and allowing the industry to come forward to share their missionary uh, and other expertise and so that we should be able to carry out these kinds of training programs. I think in just uh, two and a half years we have grown almost from uh, minuscule to the point where we are training some 250,000 people now. And uh, last year about 60,000 people have gotten placements and that is kind of speaking for the scalability of this total system.